Uh, we do have uh, Mr. Moise Banure, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, is the National Legal Advisor of the APC. He joins us via telephone now. Many thanks for coming on the, uh, on the program, Mr. Banure. Uh, some members of your party are asking for your ouster. They are asking that you be removed as a National Legal Advisor of the party for what they say inter-party activities. What is your uh, first uh, reaction to this? Well, firstly, I'm sure that they are not members of the party because if they are truly members of the party, they know the process under the APC Constitution. The process under the APC Constitution for discipline or removal of any officer is stated clearly there. It's not through demonstration or protest. So certainly, they are not members of APC. That's number one. Number two, let's assume without considering that they are members of the party. The reality of the matter is that it is, again, a confirmation of the lawlessness that we are quarreling against. You must learn how to go by due process because the due process is already specified. So that shows clearly that they are not, they are strangers to the party. Mr. Banner, as it stands now, people are asking for your expulsion. Uh, and you had said at some quarters that there is a threat to your life. What exactly is the stand? It looks like you, you are, you are you're fighting the establishment. That's what it looks like from what I heard today from the protesters. Well, the battle is not, uh, is not new at all. In 2014, if you recall, the same battle we fought that time during the gubernatorial, before eventually we had the uh, gubernatorial primaries. So it's the same battle that we are on, and uh, we will be unrelenting on it. It is a duty equal bet on me as the national legal advisor, which have ensured all over Nigeria, all other states are complying, and I do not see a reason, any reason where my own state will be an exception to the promotion or the observance of internal democracy. The, the message is simple, and, and that message is that there must be no imposition. Candidates must emerge in accordance with the party constitution. It's as simple as that, but all these so-called uh, demonstrations, uh, personal attacks, are just attempt to blur the message. I do not want to be distracted from the message. The message is simple. Comply with, uh, with the provision of APC constitution. Simple and straightforward. Mr. Banner, uh, before I allow you go, uh, you seem to be uh, on, on a fight with uh, your political leader, uh, Bola Tinubu. Well, let me tell you clearly that it's not Bola Tinubu that is chairman of APC in Lagos State. Neither is he a member of the executive of Lagos State. The people that are responsible for compliance with the constitution of the party in Lagos State are the party officials there. They are just trying to drag him into it. He has no business with it because he's not a party official. So what, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? Just in 30 seconds, if you tell us, what are your next plan of action now? Election we hold on Saturday. Uh, primaries, were, uh, primaries were conducted today in Odiolo and Mushin. What, what is your plan? Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned, to the best of my knowledge, I have no plan. My own is to inform them what the constitution of the party says and to also warn them of the dangers ahead. Because if you are doing any primary today, I'm sure that the chairman of LATEC knows better that nomination process will have closed already, and that certainly a new candidate cannot uh, certainly come in at this stage of the electoral process. Right. That is very clear. Right. There are so many cases, from Kumo's case to Belo's case, that all of them have settled that one. So those are just... We, we uh, must leave it at that, um, uh, Mr. Moise Banner, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, the National Legal Advisor of uh, the APC.